So how are you guys doing today? Great. Good. How are you doing? Are you? Good. Very happy to be here in outer space. Yes. Very yeah. strange, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Very strange. Like, it's almost like a trippy haunted house in yeah. yeah. It's exactly system. like that. Can you just pop out many of Yeah. I would love that. That would be neat. Um, so the, the Lego movie. Uh, when did you first learn that you were taking over this thing? And can you kind of tell me about that moment when they were like, okay, here's here's this massive thing that you are now in charge of. <laughs> well, Chris and Phil visited me uh, for the last film I was directing to help me out. Mm -hmm. And um, they mentioned that they wanted to make a sequel. And I said, you should not make a sequel <laughs> to the Lego film. Because that to me, that's the perfect film. I mm -hmm. love the first film. And I just thought it was so charming with Chris Pratt is Emmett, you can't do it again. Mm -hmm. And then they pitched this story to me, and I was like, that is a great idea, that is such a great sequel, and I have to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And especially with just introducing the character of the little sister is yeah. such a great idea, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I just came off of working on Lego Batman, so mm -hmm. when I heard that, you know, Mike was working on Lego 2, and I heard that it was all going to be from the sister's point of view, I was like, sign me up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm wondering when when you took stewardship of this thing, how how you wanted to inject your own little twist on it, your own personal, how you want to inject your personal brand onto it. I mean, I'm a little sister, so <laughs> this is from <laughs> the jump. I yeah. was like, oh, this is amazing. I get to kind of like create a world that I would have created, you know, when I was mm. a kid. So um, and Trisha's the uh, her artwork is very mixed media with like yeah. paper, paper and glitter, yeah. and it's very crafty. And that's exactly what this that's what we did with the little girls universe. Mm. Yeah, and singing and dancing. <laughs> singing and dancing. <laughs> it fun. all goes. Together. It all goes. Together. Glitter. I'm glitter. a big fan of glitter. Was in everything. Who is it? Yeah. Who is everything it? I've ever worked on. Uh, what was the sort of toughest nut to crack, uh, either visually or story wise? What was the thing that where you were like, man, I don't know how we're gonna get this done, but it, it, it did come out on the Personally, product. for me, we have a flashback with some time travel going on within that flashback. Yeah. That was a very difficult story to tell. Yeah. yeah. And it, it was a... Uh... I agree. The story, the, this story is so ambitious mm -hmm. and um, it, it was a tricky story to tell, but I mean, I think, you know, it, it, it paid off in, in droves. So. There's also uh, reveals of, of people that you yeah. thought were villains that are actually good guys mm -hmm. and good guys that become villains. Yeah. And that was a very complicated... Um, Probably the most difficult story I've ever worked on. Yeah. Oh, amazing. amazing. Well, it, it came off. It worked. <laughs> Great. It worked. Good. Uh, but some of the mo some of the most fun thing about these Lego movies is all the cameos from uh, yeah. other IP and stuff like that. Is there anything that you're particularly happy made it in, or something you're particularly proud of getting? Yes, in? Larry Poppins. <laughs> I'm so happy that Larry Poppins made it into uh, the movie, which really isn't a character that exists, but yeah. now he does. It's so. a cameo from someone that does not exist. Right. right. And. Uh, in terms of Easter eggs, things that are that things that are sort of hidden in the background or, or anything like that. Is there anything like that for you guys personally? Is there anything that you're very happy made it that you might you think people might not notice upon first review? I well, I know my effects guy gave me a, a little robed um, minifig that's holding a staff, and he gave it to me on the last day, and he was like, "I'm giving you this," and I was <laughs> like, "Who's this guy?" And he's like, "He's called the Wanderer," and the effects team has put him in the back of a lot of Where's Waldo and, yeah. of the of the crowd? And so right? I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Now I get a treat of a <laughs> part of the movie where I don't even because I know what's in every shot yeah. except for this Wanderer guy. So yeah. now I gotta. Find that's amazing. Him. Now I gotta go find the Wanderer. I know. Yeah. <laughs>